Now let's look at the performance ladder, a model of safety states that can assist an individual or organization in normalizing excellence. Notice that in the middle section of the ladder, where most of us live, we are basically safe and getting the job done, but we coexist with hazards, violations, and occasional incidents. The purpose of this ladder is to lead us out of this zone of mediocrity and onto higher levels of performance. We refer to the top half of the ladder as the stairway to heaven, but let's start at the bottom of the high road. Ever feel like you cheated death on a particular flight? Welcome to the survival level of the performance ladder. Most aviators have been here during their flying career, but it's no place to live, literally. If you don't progress beyond this stage, it's only a matter of time before Murphy catches up to you. The safety level is the first level of skill reached by flyers who check out in an aircraft. This level is usually marked by a formal event, like a first solo or an initial check flight. It also requires another aviator's agreement. An instructor or evaluator has to sign you off, putting their reputation on the line that you will not injure yourself or others once turned loose into the skies. We reach effectiveness when we achieve a basic mastery of the activities required to accomplish some desired goal for the flight beyond the flight itself, usually stated as the mission. You are now an effective aviator in the organization contributing to the mission. Congratulations. This is also the last level that another aviator will sign you off and is the level most check rides will monitor in your flying career. Motivation to develop beyond this level must come from within. Some aviators seek to develop skills to go beyond the basics of safety and effectiveness and fly more efficiently than the standards require. Experimenting with new and more efficient methods of operation while ensuring the mission gets accomplished might mean designing a profile that maximizes training while saving fuel and flying time, or developing a practice to minimize unnecessary in-flight chatter. This level is characterized by the few who constantly seek greater precision. They have refined their self-assessment capabilities to a fine edge and analyze every error for learning opportunities. When things go right, they ask, how could it have gone better? This level requires maturity and honest self-appraisal. Realistically, there is no such thing as the perfect aviator, but five minutes of perfection during today's flight and six minutes on the next sortie puts you on a path toward the day when you land and say, I could not have done it any better. The bottom half of the performance ladder is referred to as the road to hell. Realistically, we coexist with hazards no matter what level of the performance ladder we are on. Weather, man-made machines, and even a human adversary could be out to get us. Operating at higher rungs on the ladder simply means we identify and mitigate hazards more effectively. Violating a known operations limit, policy, or procedure is the next step down a slippery slope. It could result in disciplinary action from your organization's chain of command, or even the FAA. But often the only person to know about it is the one committing the violation. The pilot's response could be key in his future place on the ladder. While the close call of a violation motivates some to climb the ladder, not getting caught could encourage further lapses. When an incident occurs, your first thought might be, something bad has happened but that does not have to be the case. Remember the two responses to a close call. Get on an upward vector following any incident by turning it into a learning opportunity for everyone. When an accident occurs, it's too late for a cover-up. Damage has been done and people may be injured. The hard questions now are, what if? And what could I have done differently? Hopefully, you'll never have to experience this level of the ladder to know how bad it can be. Unfortunately, people die in this business. Although we can't prevent every mishap without parking the aircraft permanently, staying on the top half of the ladder can make a tragedy of this type distant and remote. Zero preventable accidents are acceptable. 
So what's the bottom line on the performance ladder? If you are aiming for safety, you're aiming too low. The safety level is like being low and slow on an approach. It requires a correction. Add power to climb up the ladder. Individuals and organizations should aim for precision. Aiming here requires understanding what to strive for and recognizing what characteristics and behaviors to avoid.